Some say I'm the voice, give my people hope I'm the chosen one, some say I'm the GOAT This that Holy Ghost, don't you overdose This that living legend, hands around your fucking throat Get it, I am a menace, I am the end and the fucking beginning It ain't no question about who was the realest Niggas are gimmicks, they gotta be kidding Follow my lead and I'll show you the way So by now, y'all have seen, most of you should have seen, this little video of the NFL player, Jaleel Adai, toasting two light-skinned babies. His white-ass wife recorded it. I'm going to play that small clip here for y'all. We're going to get it in on these motherfuckers real quick. Listen to this bullshit. Cheers to more light skin kids. Trash. Pause that shit. Complete trash. It was a small clip. His uh, wife uploaded it. She thought it was cool to put her coon on display. Look at these motherfucking self-haters. They're having a little coon seance right there. These black men, himself included, sitting around toasting to this bullshit instead of turning the whole goddamn table upside down. This is how you know, this is how white people can confirm that their programming has worked. It's been successful. Now, when I saw this, I looked at the fact that these are black men sitting here at this table doing this shit amongst these white bitches. But then I had to think about the deeper psychological uh, game that's being played here and how we as black people perpetuate this shit. How many times when you were in school did you hear a light-skinned person be called a light bright? More than once, right? How many times were you in school where you listened to and saw and were witness uh, a dark-skinned person be ridiculed, called midnight? Black is all. We perpetuate this shit. These white folk don't even have to do that much work. They don't really got to do much because we perpetuate these mentalities amongst ourselves. Therefore, our children will perpetuate the same mentalities. And this is not just an American thing. Even though this is America, 3Ks don't get this shit fucked up, incorporated. Jaleel Adai, if I'm not mistaken, his mother is Caribbean and his dad is Guyanese. This is a worldwide self-hating uh, uh, mentality that we have as a people. It's not just as simple as him. And we look at him and say, oh, them some coons. They weren't born like that. These white folk can take their hand off the wheel because we're doing all they work for. As black parents, we're not instilling into our children. We don't do that shit. We don't make fun of nobody's skin tone. We don't do shit like that because they still black. Light skin, brown skin, darker skin, still black, still beautiful. Period. And these motherfuckers did the wrong type of toast. They talking about light skin, baby. This is really a mixed baby. So basically what they did was toast to their genetic annihilation. What type of motherfucking self-hater do you have to be? How happy are you as a, uh, a white bitch sitting here looking at your husband and his friends amongst other white bitches toast to their genetic annihilation? And laugh like it's a goddamn game. That's a problem, a very serious problem that we have amongst ourselves. And I also, you know, I thought about too when you look back, and even when we get down to our black comedians in the days of Comic View, and a lot of our would be urban black comedians, they told these type of jokes, they perpetuated this shit too. You got the rappers that do it as well, all in their fucking music, bunch of fucking self-haters who can't find another way to be funny without making fun of their own blackness. Or you got rappers in song, big up and, and putting on a pedestal, light skin, mixed uh, 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 women. Whether it's happening with women or men. This is what the fuck we're creating out here. We don't start off like that. That's the, what the program is. And then we want our children to, you know, not fuck with white people like that. We want our sons to not fuck with white women like that. But then look at what we program them with the religion that we teach them. 
You're going to teach your child that the white man is God. His mama is the birthing canal that their God, the prophet, came through. How's a child's psyche supposed to separate the two when you're teaching them that their savior is white? You want your son to stay away from white women, but Mary is divine. White skin is divine. Divinity comes through white people. And if you look at a, a die here, this is a, a dark brother. A dark brother. Tattoos, locks. Sad as fuck. I think about the Outkast song or the, the bars where they say, uh, uh, is everybody with dreads for the cause? No. Mm -mm. I wish there was some type of indication. You really don't know. I mean, what all you can really safely say is 99% of black people globally, I mean, this is worldwide, have self-hating issues within them, regardless. They own some cone shit, regardless. We got to fix that shit. I seen, uh, uh, you know, I, I was sent videos about this and some people were, you know, trying to make it to where, well, this ain't a uh, black American thing. He ain't from here. He not a part of us. The mentality is a part of us worldwide. We are failing as black parents worldwide. We're not teaching our kids to not make fun of other black uh, children based on their skin tone at all. We're not teaching that because that's what we go through up at school. We're not telling our children that they're beautiful and you can't just do it three times a year. You black. You got to be, you got to be on it constantly. If you have a dark skinned child, a darker skinned child, you most definitely got to be on that shit constantly to let them know that they're beautiful. And if all these other black children were getting the codes that we do not have, that you don't make fun of somebody when they have dark skin, they black. Them your people. Black people have the ability to make every shade from light skin to dark. These motherfuckers really toasting mixed babies. Really. They toasting genetic annihilation, but still the point is that we make from light to dark. Most of the comments you're going to hear about your skin don't come from black folk. Again, white folk don't got to do much work. You're going to get it from your own community. That's a problem to me. Something that we continue to look over. That I can't quite understand why we're continuing to look over, but we continue to look over this. This reality of how our children are being raised. How our children are put into a situation, even if they are around majority black people, they're still going to be made fun of based on their skin tone. I mean, wonder where all these self-haters come from. Because again, we can sit here and call these motherfuckers sitting at this table coons. I can call Jaleel a goddamn coon, everybody at the table a motherfucking coon. I can do that. But they wasn't born like that. Nick Cannon alluded to it um, when he, whenever he was having this little conversation about, you know, wanting to be a white woman and how these black men look at these white women as a, a trophy when they get to a certain status, a certain level. But these white women love coons, especially heartbroken coons. Oh, my God. Oh, they love that shit. Black man and woman that had their heart broke a couple times and get to go over there on the white team, talk shit about black people. White person is shocked, happy, too, that they got them one of them kind. Don't love they self at all. Not only will they go be with a white person, they'll turn around and goddamn trash their own goddamn team, trash themselves. You toasting light-skinned babies, you dark-skinned as hell. She real happy about that. Real deep in the sucking place, Jaleel is. And it's not just an American thing. This shit's happening all over the place. That's why you got so many black people out here bleaching their fucking skin. All over the world. Bleaching skin. That self-hate is ingrained. And as black parents, we have to be held to task. We have so much work to do. Unless you're trying to raise a kid that's going to be on showcase at some point. Because this white bitch just so showcasing her coon. That's all she's doing. Because she one of them tight white bitches. To where she wasn't appalled at all. She 
She was not appalled. You black motherfuckers, you want to check your uh, uh, white uh, mate? Say some old uh, fucked up shit about black folk. See if they laugh. See if that opens the door for them. You can check them like that. Y'all won't. Because when you're dealing with these people that's in these interracial uh, relationships, they, they're coons. If you talk to them, them motherfuckers is full-blown coons. But she loved that shit. She don't give a fuck about him being black. Give a fuck about him as a black man. Don't give a fuck about the child they even got that got black in there. She don't give a fuck or she'd have turned the goddamn table upside down. Fuck you mean. But all them white bitches did was sit there and smile. These trash ass black men just sit there and smile and toasting and, and everything's okay. But this ain't no isolated event. I've been watching black people put mixed and light-skinned children up on pedestals for far too long. Like dark-skinned babies, brown babies aren't beautiful. We've been doing that shit for far too long. And it's time we cut the shit out. And stop acting like it's some type of isolated event. Because it's not. This shit is ingrained in our minds. It bothers me that these white folk don't got to work hard. They can disrespect us all in our goddamn face, all on camera. This is this man's wife. They can do any goddamn thing. We put children into climates that are fucking coons every goddamn where. The word black folk going to be the ones give you the hardest time about your damn skin tone. That's sad. It's problematic as fuck, y'all. It really is. Ain't nothing funny about it. This is something that's been happening before him. Will continue to happen. Uh, you know, anybody you hear talking about how dark somebody is, you need to be checking them. Shouldn't be something you're laughing at. You need to be teaching your children. We don't laugh at black people for their skin tone, for their features, nose, lips. We, we don't do that. But we run around here playing, trying to make all this shit isolated events. When I've been watching us do this shit all my life. Jaleel Adai and the people that's with him, they was born coons. Or they wasn't born coons. This is the mentality that came. Self-hating, you're not born hating yourself. It comes. And we can sit around and trash these motherfuckers all we want to. But they're grown now. So we got to do better as parents. All over the world. It's a calling out to all black parents. We have to do a much better job. A much better job. So we're not out here raising fucking self-haters. And our children won't grow to be adults put on display by no random ass white motherfuckers. That's our job. That's all the fuck I want to say. Y'all comment if you feel need to comment. Follow me on Instagram. Links in the description box. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what it is. I'm out.